what are the odds but for today's video it's gonna be a chit chat get ready with me um vlog style i love doing my chit chats vlog style now but i'm just in the middle of getting ready it's now it's 8 40 y'all i gotta be um at the club where we're all meeting at at 10 30 but you know i gotta get my instagram pictures in so i gotta make time for that streets like what the time and tomorrow is the fourth of july so the city is pretty crazy i'm pretty sure all y'all cities are crazy right now and happy fourth of july to y'all um this is probably gonna be up after the fourth because it's tomorrow but yeah i hope you guys have a good holiday a safe holiday please be safe because there's so many crazy people out here you never know unfortunately let's talk about what's been going on on social media which is that stupid ass cucumber challenge shit like what is really going on in the world oh bitches are fucking weird like i would never shove no cucumber down my fucking throat like I would be fucking scared, first of all, that I'm going to die. Second of all, um, what the fuck? Is this like a sport, a new sport or something? Like, y'all want to teach people like, oh, I need to um, show out for that cucumber challenge. And I feel like people are just doing it to go viral. Um, that is what the fuck the vibe is this year is that's what the vibe has been like everybody just wants to go viral everybody wants to just do it for the gram which is understandable but doing that shit risking your life like going in your throat i could never like i already have bad gag reflexes and it's just like what the fuck it's like what is the cucumber challenge and i'm like what is going on what are y'all talking about then i seen a video and i'm like Making people want to do it more because I think they finna get a, some a nigga's attention. Fuck sucking dick. Like, do you like me for real? Like, cause sucking dick is not gonna keep a nigga around. It may keep a nigga around, but nine times out of ten, it fucking doesn't. Cause any bitch can suck dick. But is your personality bomb? Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> that shit is just weird. That is just not a talent. Y'all, so I'm gonna be so cute tonight. Like, I'm so freaking excited. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. Jasmine's here. I'm gonna eat with my mama and my family. And then after that, um, she's having a party because then she leaves the next day in the morning time because y'all know she lives in the So it's gonna be late. Like, I'm pretty happy and excited. And I just love, like, I just love the holidays sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time. I hate when people be like, oh, the holidays is for kids, um, blah, blah, blah. But not really, like, because on the holiday, people, like, get together. And um, people that are always busy, that's probably the only time they are available to even kick it with the people that they fuck with, you know? So, I don't know why people be saying that. The other day, the Kardashians came on, you know, season finale with Jordan Woods, um, fucking with Tristan Thompson, whatever, whatever. And y'all know, like, all my life, everybody always said I look like Kamar Lee Simmons. You look like Kamar Lee Simmons' daughter, y'all. You look like you could be her daughter, like, and I was like, oh yeah, thank you. And I thought Kamar Lee Simmons was bomb. Like, she's a model, she had her own brand. So I was really like a fan of hers or whatever until I seen that fucking episode. She literally said that um, it don't matter her age. She, um, you don't need to be letting nobody run through your motherfucking household. Like, you, y'all weak as fuck. Like, to the Kardashians getting all in their head and shit. Y'all are grown women. Like, y'all don't need to bully no fucking body. And that's why, you know what? After that episode, I really, really fell in love with Kylie Jenner even more. Because, like, she was like, we don't need to be bullying nobody. Like, what are y'all doing? I don't know, but Kamara Lee Simmons is canceled for that. Like, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. I would have been so fucking embarrassed if I was meanly. I would have been like, mom, what the fuck are you doing? I'm literally so indecisive on what I want to wear tonight because it's not even like an actual club. Y'all know like the ghetto little hood bars be like cracking. Especially in the summertime, like the black bars be the spot. Oh, like it's in a ghetto, I think. Could get done with my makeup in like, I don't know, 15 minutes. Uh, I literally been loving this show 
called, I put it on my Instagram story the other day. Um, it's called Euphoria with Zendaya. And basically, like, it's so good, y'all. Like, it's so good. Like, I love, like, I don't know, scenarios of, like, teenagers going through their shit. Um, but it's not really relatable to me because I'm really not a crackhead. And I'm a good at storyline. That's what I should say. Like, I'm just gonna let this shit bake. I think I might cream contour today. I got these from the beauty supply. Hey y'all, have y'all ever smelled this before? This smells like actual chocolate. Oh my God. What did y'all do for the 4th of July? Let me know in the comment section below cause I wanna know. <laughs> This wig is from African Mall. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. It literally set me out my comfort zone. So make sure you check the description box below to get all the information on this hair. Love you guys. So this wig is definitely big head girl approved, okay? It's so cute. So I'm just about to get dressed. I really didn't need to do too much. This is really a like a simple wig. It's so cute and convenient. But anyway, so I'm just about to get my clothes on real quick. And yeah, I'm really feeling this hair, y'all. Like I cannot stop touching it. It's so soft. I just want to show y'all my fit real quick. So this is my outfit, y'all. It's cute. It's a little, you know, motorsport vibe going on. So yeah, so. <sighs> so I'm about to, you know, make my way to the club. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And how are y'all feeling the Bob? Yes, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I love y'all so much. And I will see y'all next video. Bye.